Okay, so I have had an absolute ton of questions on my Dale Optiplex 755 video about um, upgrading that machine and making it a great gaming machine. And um, first off, I must say that I cannot answer any questions about that machine up front because I no longer have that machine. That was a buddy's machine to begin with. He has since sold that machine, and me and him since have parted ways. We're still good friends. We're still best friends, but we have parted ways with each other. We no longer live with each other anymore. So I'm going to try my best to answer making one of these Dell machines a great gaming machine. And really and truly, you're going to have a hard time with this machine, but I'm going to try my best to answer, my, answer your questions in a, in a, in a great fashion. Uh, a lot of people I've seen comment about 6 gigs of RAM and a Q6600, and yes, that's the first place to start. Uh, this right here is a Dell Optiplex 380. So, in, in this regard, this is a similar machine, not the same machine, but similar. Uh, it has a little bit beefier power supply because it is a tower, and it also runs DDR3 memory instead of the DDR2. Some of the things I want to show you as weak points in this machine is one, the hard drive. Uh, I would definitely, for speed's sake, upgrade that to an SSD. Um, SSDs are so cheap these days that you could afford about 120 gig to 240 gig SSD. This has a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, this has an E80 400 CPU. I would definitely swap that for a Q9600. Uh, a, a quad core chip. Uh, this machine defaults with two gigabytes of memory. This particular model does. I would go to four. The motherboard max supports four. So I would definitely go to four on this 380's motherboard. The 755, you've got a few more options, but I'm doing this in relevance to this machine. Now, let's talk about the video card. You're going to have a hard time with a video card because of the way this machine is built. Now, um, as you can see, this is a tower machine, but it's a BTX tower machine. So, just as a demonstration, here's an R9 290X. And you're going to run into two problems. One, the card is too long, so it's not going to fit down in the case. You've probably only got about 8 inches of clearance right here. 8 to 12 inches of clearance. This, well, a little less than about 8 inches. This is a 12 inch card as you can see it bumps into the hard drive cage now alternatively you could modify that to work but the other thing you're going to run into is this is your top slot this is that you need a slot above that so you're going to have to pretty much use any video card that is single slotted in this case I'm going to put a 6450 in this machine so um, but I will, you know, demonstrate that yes, you can. Let me help open that up. You can indeed stick a video card in this machine, and it will fit and it will work. Uh, we do this these three eighties all the time because I need dual graphics support on these machines. See there, there's the video card. Um, you still got the same array of ports on this machine that you did on the 755, except a little bit beef your power supply. So do keep some things in mind. You know, you're not going to be able to throw a, two, a 390X in this, and three, you know, two, you're not going to have the performance of a 390X out of this machine anyways. It's only PCI Express 2.0. But if you can find like a 750Ti or a 950 or something that's single slotted, It'll work in this case. It will work in this case. Um, if it needs power connections, you could adapt or off some of these power connections. Alternatively, this is an ATX power supply. You can swap out that power supply. So, just a quick video to show um, the upgradability of the Dell Optiplex systems. Um, Alright, anyways, thank you for watching.